So often as part of the strategy of prototyping, we're prototyping the business model as much as we are the physical object. So in some instances that's where we're producing it to a production scale or a small production scale so we can test what does this mean in terms of the secondary processes. In other instances, we're literally prototyping the business model. So a great example is I worked with a company that thought there was an opportunity in five axis CNC machining. Instead of committing to a full scale production machine, they start with a small scale production machine. They're checking to see what does the workflow look like? What is the demand? and they can get to a point where they can make a clear commercial decision to say, shall we scale this production to full-scale production and, and commit to the capital investment? And that's really them prototyping the business model. And often we're working in the design to facilitate that. So we may make small design tweaks to make sure that a business model can be prototyped at the same time which the physical design is being prototyped. One of the issues and opportunities with prototyping is you often unintentionally end up testing a number of things. So you may just be looking to test how a material functions in your new design, uh, but often you end up testing the production process at the same time. So it's hard to say if there's an issue with the prototype, whether it's an issue that stems from the design or stems from the prototype or the production method. And often that leads to new opportunities. A great example is with a pulp molding project we've recently done, where we've needed to attain a physical function of a new design. And it was very hard to make. The factories were telling us this design can't be produced. We then had to listen and say, are they saying this can't be produced because of in an inherent problem in the design or a limitation in their production process? We decided it was a limitation in their production process and went to produce our own prototype tooling to prove that the design was viable. And through doing that, we've produced an entirely new way of making pulp molded parts. Out of that, we've produced new intellectual property and formed a new business.